Good morning, everybody. It's Abel again with Palm Harbor in Waco, Texas. I'm not sure why I haven't made a video of this house yet. Um, this house really, it's our number one seller, and I have not made a video on it, and I have failed you guys for not showing you our number one selling house. This is the Fleetwood 28 by 60, four bedroom, two bath. Or you can have it as a three bedroom, two bath with two living areas. Or you could have it as a four bedroom, three bath. There's lots of options that we can do here. Walking around, you can see the outside. This is the most popular color by far. Really, really popular color. It's a good looking house. You can see it's got the smart panel insert there at the center with the vinyl siding on the sides. Got those black shutters. Walk around here. That's smart panel siding. We're going to go around the back. Of course, you got your vented soffit. It's a very typical thing you'll see in all these houses. Vented soffit again. Got that transom window in the bathroom. Let's in a lot of that light. You've got your AC disconnect box already installed on the house. You got a plug there by the back door. You got a light by the back door. Bunch of windows. That's vents and more transom windows and bathrooms another window and a quick walk through on the outside we're about to go inside as well here is the tongue side of the house there you go there's lots of options with this house so if you really wanted to upgrade it to smart panel siding all the way around you could or if you wanted to keep it at this style and this look that's definitely not an issue at all so that's the outside of the house we're going to do go on in and uh Show you guys around a bit. Here it is, guys. The 28 by 60 Fleetwood Pinnacle Series. Here's the living room. Really good sized living room, lots of space. You can see right in the dining room and the kitchen. Let's do kind of a slow walkthrough and kind of a pan so y'all can see everything. It's a really great house, really attractive house. There you go, the dining room. So you can see there's lots of room in this living area, lots of space. It's got linoleum um, floors all the way throughout. It's made by Bow Floor, really great warranties on that. 100% waterproof. Um, it also won't fade or anything like that. So, if, so like the floor that's right in front of the windows, they always get a lot of light. They're not going to fade. The color will always stay the same. If you spill something on the floor and you wipe it away, it's not going to stain. Really great flooring. See here in the kitchen, you got lots of cabinet space. Tons and tons and tons of cabinet space. Um, I don't even know what you could fill those cabinets with. I'm sure you could find something. Island, of course, we got the sink and the island. And something we always do, but I got to point it out every time, is we've got outlets on the island, but at both sides of the island. There and there. And then of course you've got your outlets, another one there, there, there. You got one back there. You got one there. You can hardly see it's behind the plant or the pig. And then another one there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight on the other end that's 16 different outlets and i don't even know what you could plug into all those plugs but if you really wanted to you sure could fill them all up see that really great farmhouse sink again it's stainless that black color it's really popular right now really big sink open it's not the divided sink which some people hate the divided sinks some people love them this one it's open it's huge great farmhouse style it does have the apron on the front of it as well See there, the big apron. And then, of course, your hoop neck faucet. So that's going to be the kitchen. Here's the dining room. Good sized dining room. We have a smaller table here, but there's definitely plenty of room if you want to get a bigger table. Got those great windows there. And so, this house has a few options. So, if you don't like those windows there, we can option in a sliding glass door. Take those out, put a sliding glass door there. Um, or you can leave it as windows. You can go in here. This is the dining, uh, I'm sorry, the utility room. 
room for your washer and your dryer right there. Also, there's a wire shelf right above it. And then you have room for a freezer, deep freeze, upright freezer, um, a drink fridge, something like that. And that's your back door right there. We're going to go down and look at the three bedrooms and bathroom down here. And then we'll head to the master. Here's going to be the hall bathroom. Pretty straightforward. Got a tub shower insert. Um, it's got cabinets above the toilet. Then you got your vanity there. Can lights above it. Vents in the ceiling all the way throughout. Come in here. These two bedrooms are going to be identical in size. This one. And this one. And then good closet space. Plenty of room for the kiddos to hang all their stuff up in. And this room right here that we're about to go into, this is the one you can option to have in the living room. So if you're going to have it as a second living area, they take this wall and this uh, closet, they take that out. So it opens all the way up into here. So this would all be living room. Take that wall out so it's all open. Or you can have it as the fourth bedroom. See here, plenty big, lots of room. And then you can also option in a third bathroom, which would be like an ensuite. So they take away this closet space, they put a good size bathroom in there, you know, full tub, shower, combo, vanity, toilet, and then they move your closet into here. So it makes your closet a little smaller, but it does give you that third bath option. So we're gonna go take a look at the master now. Okay, as we walk into the master, uh, I just wanna note, this does have sheetrock. It is vinyl covered sheetrock, so it's that waterproof stuff with the batten strips. If you wanted to upgrade this house, we can do full tape and texture in everywhere but the kitchen, uh, the closets, and bathrooms and utility rooms. So we could do master bedroom, dining room, living room, and the other four bath bedrooms as well. Um, so that's definitely an option we can do. So here we go. Here is the master. This is a queen size bed. So if you have a king size, you've got plenty of room. The way to think about it is when you see a queen size bed, a king size is one foot wider. So you add six inches to this side, you add six inches to that side, and that's a king size bed. And as you can see, there is no shortage of room. We have nightstands on either side with space between the bed and the wall. Same on this side, but plenty of room. We got a dresser here. You see how we have it set up. There's plenty of room for everything you need to do. We even have an extra chair in here. If you want a little sitting, you know, reading place and a, a bench, of course, at the end of the, the bed. Put your shoes on in the morning. And this is the master closet. This thing's huge. It's uh, about the size of a small bedroom. Walk all the way in here. And I just hit my head up against the shelf. Hopefully y'all heard that. But here it is, guys. I mean, huge room, huge closet. And now we're going to get into the master bathroom. Right off the bat, you see the dual sinks, dual mirrors. You got lights above, both of them. You can see here, these are porcelain. It's not the plastic stuff. That's the good sinks right there. Great faucets, too. Not, not just cheapos. Really nice deck tub. If you love having a big tub, this is the house for you. You also got that transom I was showing y'all outside. Brings in a lot of light. Also, here's your shower. It's actually kind of behind the door. But it's a full walk-in shower. It's a 48-inch shower. So you can walk in. Here's your faucet there. So you can change it a little bit. And then, of course, you've got your cabinet above the toilet as well for your linens. And there is a lot of options in here too. If you don't want a tub necessarily, but you like the rest of this house, we can take the tub out and we could put a big 60 inch shower right here and then put a linen cabinet right here. So you, you remove the 48 inch shower, put a linen cabinet and then remove the tub, put a 60 inch shower. We could do a shower inserts or we could do tile showers on this one as well. So if you like this house, but you're like, oh, I just wish that shower was different. We can change that shower. Or if you like the house, I just wish it had tape and texture. We can do that too. 
Um, there's tons of different color options. So we do uh, white cabinets, we could do a brown cabinet like this, or we could do a pine cabinet, um, or tile backs, the backsplash on the tile. Um, there's so many different options. There's probably five or six different ones of those. Same with your countertops. So you got three different cabinets, probably six different tiles, and probably eight different countertop colors. So there's no shortage of how you can make this house look. If you're not a huge fan of you know, the blacks on whites, we can do whites, we can do browns, um, there's some grays, there's lots and lots of different options. We even have some greens that we can do. So you can really customize this house to be the style you want. That is why this house is our number one seller. You can come see this house in person at 4740 North I-35 in Waco, Texas. Give us a call at 254-412-0123. My, my name is Abel, and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Um, just come in and take a look. This house is priced very competitively. You won't find anyone in the state of Texas that sells this house cheaper than us because we are the number one seller of this house. Um, I think we've sold over 30 since January of this one home. Come out and see it in person, 4740 North I-35, Waco, Texas.